All right, we got a new Drummond one horse, shallow well pump. We're gonna install over here today. Customer's house, dog chewed the other one up. So I'll show you how to put it in, prime it, and all that good stuff. Don't need those. And there's our pump. We got our outlet, one inch. And this should be an inch and a quarter here. So inch and a quarter uh, suction, one inch outlet. And here's your priming port right here. So we'll get this out of the box and uh, we'll take you over to the well. All right, we got out of the box. One thing I wanted to mention is these come with a 110 outlet cord uh, this one here uh, we're going to wire up direct so we're going to take these two outsides out and unhook this and put our own wiring in here and uh, we got a little grommet we'll put in right there but if you don't have that it's pretty simple you just plug it right in 110 outlet and you're good to go these are i believe a 3050 if you look in here it'll tell you 30, 50, so you want to make sure your pressure tank's set at about 28 to 25 pounds. I'm going to go over the list of tools that I got. We got some blue PVC blue, glue, the old all 16 crescent wrench, voltmeter, make sure the power's off. We got some primer, we got some joint compound, pipe dope. We got our thread tape, one inch, inch and a quarter, wire cutters. Phillips pipe cutters just in case and we got our pipe wrenches should be about all you need to get this job done right, we got a pump in place here that's where we're going to hook it this is our well inch and a quarter section and uh, our discharge one inch we're just going to put this inch and a quarter here extend that over to there and then we'll hook up our one inch after that so that's our next step I'm going to take this thread tape it first pipe dope it and then we'll put it on our intake. <laughs> right, we got that tightened on there. Now it's time for our outlet pipe. here and uh we'll attach here to here this has got a foot valve in it and it's working i checked that yesterday so we know the foot valve is working we know we're holding gonna hold our prime so now we just gotta connect here to here here to here so we're gonna work on that now we got a pipe on here now we're gonna connect it to here so trying to get too much glue our cement There we go. Got it glued up. Our next step is this pipe. This pipe, but what I'm gonna do first, I'm going to prime our pump. Actually, we don't even have to prime it first. We can prime it here, but I'll probably prime it and pump it off before we uh, do anything. So I got this trusty little thing here. We'll screw it in here. Once we get it primed, then we'll pump it off. Right, we're hooking up our wire here. For our 110. That's hooked up now. 
So now we're ready to prime. All right, to prime these pumps, it's super easy. We've got a one gallon bucket of water here. Basically, just going to dump that in here and fill this port up. I'll probably take right out a gallon. There we go. She's full. Now what I like to do is just to direct the water, screw this down on here. We're gonna pump it off to make sure that we get our prime <clears throat> before we hook it up to the system. So we're gonna go over here to the breaker. And she's turned on. Turn this one off so we're not getting all electric. And there we go, we got a pump hooked up, everybody. We'll let that pump for a few minutes. Move our tools over to the high ground. pump this off for a few minutes just to make sure we get any sand that's set down in there any that kind of stuff out of there check it don't look like no sand in there so we're good now what we'll do we'll shut her off back at the breaker and we'll plumb everything back up All right. put our outlet back in hook her up all right so we got all of our fittings set in here what we're going to do we're going to open up our closest hose bib here just to kind of let all the pressure and air get out of there first so it don't go in the house let me get over here turn on our breaker see a little bit of air come out We'll let that pump out just for a second. And look at this. In true Harbor Freight quality, whoever taped this up, got a little drip it looks like. Maybe not. Okay, so we're good. And that is dripping right there. See it? So I have to tighten that up. That's what you get with Harbor Freight though. I mean, you can't expect a lot. Let's watch our pressure while we're here. So the tape job on this Harbor Freight pump 
was uh, lackluster. We didn't even pull this bolt out to prime the pump. We primed it from here and look at it, it's still leaking. We're gonna pull this bolt out, retape it, and uh, get this customer back in business here. Uh, it's crazy with a new pump, you wouldn't think it'd be leaking, but what can you expect out of Harbor Freight? All right, got it retaped. Screw this down on here. Should take care of a leak from here. We'll turn it back on. I'll show you the process to make sure it's cycling properly. That's gonna be our next step. And then we're gonna be done. A lot of people would just call it from here, but we wanna make sure we don't get called back out later on. No drips, no leaks anywhere else. Just where Harbor Freight must have set. Now let's turn the power back on. All right, we got the pump back on. We're gonna let it build up. Shouldn't take as long this time because all the pipes in the house should be filled. filled so we'll come back. Looks like this is not leaking no more. It's leaking over here and we have no drips. So that's taken care of. We'll get up the pressure. We'll come back on the pressure's up and I'll show you how to make sure this thing's cycling properly. All right, our pump shut off. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here Open up our hose bib, drain the pressure, we'll make sure it kicks on at 30. We're just going to let that drain, 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 and it should be kicking on in just a minute. There we go. Good to go. This job is complete. That's how you install a Harbor Freight shallow well pump.